Good morning, distinguished panel members, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sharon Sisera, Advanced Diploma Student, following the Nursing and International Institute of Health Sciences. My business topic is Attitude towards health information privacy and electronic health records among urban Sri Lankan adults. These are my contents. Electronic health records contain very sensitive information of patients. So, privacy and security of this information is really important. Any exposure of this information can lead to great catastrophes. For an example, I would like to bring out a story on the President uh, Lakatlas NGO, who openly goes out in public and says, when her husband was first diagnosed with HIV AIDS and when the the results were leaked out from the hospital by the hospital employees and the greater uh, disturbances that she has to go through and um, uh, which ultimately led her husband uh, to commit suicide. Leaking out of her information leading to these greater catastrophes is not only common, common in Sri Lanka but also in other leading countries as well. Understanding the gravity of this, in 1996, the United States government has implemented Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. It had provisions to ensure the privacy and confidentiality of identifiable health information. For an example, this act has different dimensions and, the two key, and one of the two key areas of these rules contains about privacy and security of health data. An electronic health report is a, a manual, Medi-Hectica, that we all use. It contains uh, the, uh, first, uh, patients' uh, private data as well as very sensitive health information. The government of Sri Lanka is intends to implement a national e-health policy in the country. Now what you, can, what you see is the draft of National E-Health Policy of Sri Lanka. In this draft, the need of electronic health records is highly uh, significant. So my research was done to describe the perception of Sri Lankan adults on health data privacy, to describe the routine IT related security practices among Sri Lankan adults, to describe the attitudes towards electronic health records among Sri Lankan adults. In my research, I used urban and suburban Sri Lankan adults about 18 years of age and I collected my data using an online questionnaire and my sample size was 227. Moving on to my results, majority of the respondents in my uh, research were female and most of them have completed their advanced level examination or were graduates and majority of my respondents were less than 25 years of age. When I asked who you want to have your ownership of the health records, majority, 98% uh, of the respondents said themselves, the doctor, and their family should own their ownership. And quite a bit said uh, me, uh, like themselves, and the doctor should have the ownership, whereas very few wanted only themselves to have the ownership. And most of the respondents in my research were very comfortable on IT use. Majority of uh, 178 respondents use password protection on their documents, whereas most of them have never shared their password. I, uh, the majority of 101 respondents thought electronic health records increase medical errors, but they all, the majority also thought electronic health records would prevent data loss would not prevent data loss. So, when I ask about the perception of the security of electronic health records versus the existing health records in the country, most of them said uh, that electronic health records are more secure or equally secure uh, to the existing uh, health records in the country. Majority were very comfortable in disclosing their sensitive but necessary information uh, to their doctor. When I asked if there was a national electronic health record system in the country, how do you want to have your health record system uh, stored? So majority of them 
said, uh, like majority, 64% of the participants said they need a complete record in the National Electronic Health Record System and 32% 32 particip 32 of the participants wanted a partial record. Health Information Exchange is transferring your health ele electronic health information from one institute to another institute or from one department to another department. So majority of my respondents, closely 60%, uh, thought the health information exchange is a confidential way of communication and they also thought it would increase the quality of care. But majority of 45% of uh, respondents were somewhat concerned and 41% of uh, the respondents were uh, very concerned about unauthorized access when, when they transferred their electronic health records uh, among institutions. So, I analyzed the general IT behaviors versus the security concerns of my respondents. It was very interesting to note that even the respondents who did not use password protection on their own documents were highly concerned on unauthorized access on their health uh, information. When I asked my respondents to rate their level of trust on a scale of 1 to 10, it was really sad to notice that 150 of the respondents rated their level of trust on Sri Lankan health institutions less than 5. Among those in, uh, respondents who said they have their uh, trust less than 5 were the respondents who had high concerns on loss of data and high concerns on unauthorized access on their health information. So ladies and gentlemen, my research revealed many did not have a clear idea about health data ownership. Majority were concerned about the data security and privacy. Majority believed that electronic health records would increase medical errors, but many were not worried about disclosing their sensitive information to the doctor. Many were comfortable with the concept of future electronic health record and the research has shown that the negative influence can co the negative uh, influences or and the negative perceptions of people can lead to positive uh, strength, uh, positive attitudes uh, by strengthening the system. So I recommend to improve the reliability of the health institutions because that is the that is where the main problem is because people do not trust their health institutions. And I also recommend to improve the infrastructure of the health records and to improve the public education and awareness on electronic health records. I thank everyone who uh, helped me in my research. These were my references. Thank you so much.